Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the side lengths uh, of this uh, right triangle are uh, 6 uh, and uh, 9 units. And moreover, this uh, CD is perpendicular to this side line uh, AB. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you non-traditional approach. In other words, we are not going to be using a geometric means to solve this problem. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this bigger right triangle ABC, whose side lengths are 6 and 9 units. And since uh, this is our 90 degree angle, therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this side uh, a, this side uh, b, and this our longest leg I'm going to call side c. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a square is going to become 6 square plus b square is going to become 9 square equal to c square so we got uh, 36 plus uh, 91 equal to c square so therefore if we add these numbers c square is going to be 117 let's go ahead and do this square by taking the square root on both sides this square and square root is gone so c turns out to be equal to and if we take care of this uh, square root uh, this has been simplified uh, to 3 times uh, square root of 13 so I can write this one as 3 times uh, square root of uh, 13 so therefore our this uh, side length a b turns out to be 3 times square root of 13 uh, units and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, a b c and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base times height and in our case, our base is 9 and our height is 6. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle ABC is going to be a half times 9 times 6. And now if we simplify everything on the right hand side, area turns out to be 27. So thus the area of this uh, triangle ABC turns out to be 27 square units. And here's our next step. Let's uh, assume that alpha and beta are our complementary angles. In other words, uh, angle alpha plus angle beta must be equal to 90 degrees. So therefore, if I label this angle as an alpha, this is our 90 degree angle, then this angle has got to be beta. And now let's focus on this uh, blue shaded triangle. This is a uh, BCD. We have this uh, beta angle. This angle is uh, 90 degrees. So this angle has got to be angle alpha. And we know that this whole angle is 90 degrees and this angle is uh, alpha. So therefore, this angle has got to be angle beta. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, big triangle uh, ABC is uh, similar to this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, BCD according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And now let's recall this very crucial fact. The ratio of the area of two similar triangles is proportional to the squares of the corresponding sides of both the triangles, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see that this triangle ABC is uh, similar to this uh, triangle DEF. Then according to this uh, theorem, the ratio of the area of this uh, triangle ABC and this uh, triangle DEF is going to be equal to the square of the ratios of this uh, AB and uh, this uh, DE as you can see over here. And likewise for this uh, square of BC divided by EF that means this BC divided by EF finally for the square of the ratios of uh, AC and uh, DF as you can see over here and if you are wondering how this could be possible and you want a proof I will show you the proof a little bit later 
So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. So therefore, we are going to apply that theorem to these uh, triangles uh, A, B, C and the other triangle uh, B, C, D since they are similar triangles. So therefore, according to the theorem, uh, the ratio of this uh, area of the triangle uh, B, C, D, this uh, blue shaded area is our uh, B, C, D and the area of this uh, bigger triangle uh, ABC is going to be equal to the square of the ratios of these uh, side lengths uh, BC and in our case our BC length is uh, 6 units and our AB length uh, is 3 times uh, square root of 13 and moreover we already figured out the area of this uh, triangle ABC that is uh, 27 square units. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation. So the area of this uh, triangle uh, BCD at the numerator divided by the area of this uh, triangle ABC which is uh, 27 is equal to BC in our case is uh, 6 and AB length is uh, 3 times uh, square root of 13. And now let's focus on this uh, right hand uh, side. And here I have copied it down and if we simplify everything it turns out to be 4 divided by 13. So therefore the left hand side could be written as this simplified one that is 4 divided by 13. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 27 on the left hand side and 27 on the right hand side and we can see this is gone. So therefore our this uh, triangle uh, B C D area is going to be equal to 108 divided by 13 square units. So thus the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle turns out to be 108 divided by 13 square units and that is approximately equal to 8.31 square units. And here's our final step. Let me go ahead and show you the proof uh, for this uh, theorem. The ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is proportional to the squares of the corresponding sides uh, of both uh, the triangles. And we know that these uh, two triangles ABC and uh, DEF uh, are similar triangles. And I don't have a time to show you the proof of all uh, these uh, three equations. So therefore I'm going to show you just uh, one proof uh, the ratio of triangle uh, ABC area and uh, triangle uh, DEF area equal to the square of the ratio of AC divided by DEF as you can see over here and the rest of the proof you can extrapolate yourself. And now let's assume this perpendicular height uh, CM is uh, h and this uh, height uh, fn is k. So let's go ahead and start off with the left hand uh, side. I have copied it down uh, over here. We are going to show that this uh, left hand side uh, is equal to this uh, right hand side. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. It equals to half times base uh, times height. So therefore for the area of this triangle uh, ABC our base uh, is uh, AB and our height is uh, H and for this uh, area of triangle DEF uh, our base is DE and our height is K. So therefore we can write this thing as 1 over 2 times uh, AB times H all over 1 over 2 times uh, DE times uh, K. And now we can see this 1 over 2 and 1 over 2 is uh, gone. So therefore this uh, right hand side could be written as A B divided by D E times H divided by K. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two right triangles AMC and this uh, other right triangle uh, DNF. And we can see that these two triangles are similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem since these angles are already congruent and this is their 90 degree angle. 
then we are going to have a proportion. In other words, H and K's ratio. Let me go ahead and write down H divided by K is going to be equal to this AC divided by DF. Let me go ahead and write down AC divided by DF. And likewise, the ratio of this uh, A, B, and uh, D, let me go write down uh, A, B divided by D, E ratio is going to be equal to A, C over D, F. Let me go ahead and write down uh, A, C divided by D, F. Now let me go ahead and uh, replace this AB divided by DE over here by this uh, AC divided by DF. And likewise, uh, this uh, H divided by K, I am going to replace it uh, by AC divided by DF as well. So therefore, of this equation is going to become, after replacement, uh, this is going to give us uh, AC divided by D F times once again A C divided by D F and now we can see A C times A C is going to give us A C square and at the denominators D F times D F is going to give us D F square as well. So therefore we can write this equation as A C divided by D F whole square. And this uh, right hand side is same as uh, this one. So this is our right hand side. So thus we have proven this uh, left hand side is indeed equal to right hand side. And that's our proof. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.